And it's time to go around the horn. Thanks to our friends at Coca-Cola with the skipper of the Mountaineers, Randy Mazey, a fresh off of two out of three down in Stillwater against the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Uh, Skip, I'll tell you what, uh, the pitching off the mound, especially from the starting staff, has been uh, some kind of phenomenal. Can you recall a time when you've had a stretch where it's been this good since you took over here at WVU? Well, you know, we had uh, our first or second year here when we had Harrison Musgrave and John Means in the same rotation. Uh, Means is getting his first start in the big leagues tonight, and Harrison pitched against the Dodgers. We all watched them on the airplane on the way home, so we've had quality guys before, but uh, coming off where we were last year when we couldn't get any quality starting pitching to the starting pitching we're getting right now is a pretty amazing turnaround. What is the difference? You know, just preparation. You know, we kind of had the right guys and the right pieces, and we uh, tried to mold them that way because we knew the bullpen was going to be young, so we had to build the endurance of those three or four guys up as much as we could, and we we addressed that on the front end. Having said that uh, about the bullpen, do you feel guys are starting to settle into roles in the uh, back end of, of the bullpen to get the ball to, to Sam Kessler? Yeah, you know, we have a lot of quality guys back there, but, but most of them are young kids, and and that's the one thing young kids don't have that older kids have is consistency. So one of them goes out there and pitches great one day, and then the next one pitches great the next time out. And you run one back out there, and he didn't do as good as he did the first time. And uh, that's what you get with young kids, you know. So you live with it, and fortunately we have enough that uh, we can always uh, try and find a guy we think is going to be the right guy. Is this team right now playing together? Or are they a galvanized unit rooting for one another? You know, they really have been uh, ever since the fall. The, the team chemistry and the, the culture we have in this program is phenomenal, and, and that's kind of what you're seeing right now. You know, that's why we don't get rattled or panic when we lose three games on a weekend early in the year. You know, we just uh, keep bouncing back every time we get punched in the gut and, and usually come back with a pretty good answer. Yeah, well, what do you know? Another top 25 team coming to Morgantown in the Texas Tech Red Raiders. So goes life in the Big 12, huh? Yeah, that's what we asked for when we joined it, and that's what we're getting, and it's a lot of fun, you know. We've, three weekends in a row we'll have a top 25 team, and they've played pretty well against the first two, so I don't think this one should be any different. The Red Raiders in town Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Of course, if you're heading to the spring game on Saturday at 1 o'clock, we'll join us 4 p.m. and do a little Mountaineer doubleheader. What do you say with the skipper of the Mountaineers? Randy Mazie, I'm Dan Zangrilly. We go around the horn every week here on WVUSports.com. <laughs>